Throughout the day, there were remarkable developments on many fronts. The frontline clashes in the Ukraine-Russia war continue to intensify every day. In the last 24 hours, there have been new and important developments on many fronts. While the Ukrainian army continued its counterattack without slowing down, the Russian forces made some attempts to advance in response. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine published a remarkable daily report. The activity on the fronts did not stop throughout the day. The Ukrainian army continued offensive and defensive operations on the front. According to report of the General Staff, on the Zaporizhia front, the Ukrainian army continued its advancing attempts throughout the day, while Russian forces focused their primary efforts on blocking the Ukrainian advance. While Russian forces focused their primary efforts on blocking the Ukrainian advance. On the middle of Polenbertiansk front, Ukrainian defense forces continue offensive operations as usual, consolidating their positions and conducting counter-battery operations. On the Kupiansk front, the Russian army deployed artillery and mortars to fire on the settlements of Tropoli, Kamyanka, Dvorchna, Zapadne, Kupiansk, and Kislivka in Kharkiv Oblast. On the Shakhtarsk front, the Russian army launched attacks against the Ukraine in an attempt to recapture lost ground. However, the Ukrainian defense successfully repelled this attack. On the Avdivka front, Ukrainian forces were successful despite the difficult conditions. Ukrainian troops successfully repelled the attacks of Russian troops near the town of Avdivka under heavy fire from aircraft and artillery. On the Liman front, the Russian army was under heavy artillery fire. Settlements of Nevsky, Biloruka in Luhansk Oblast and Torske, Vernokamyansky, Spirnen, Rostolivka in Donetsk Oblast came under heavy fire. On the Marinka front, the Russian army organized attacks to regain lost positions. However, according to report, Ukrainian forces successfully repelled this attack of the Russian army. On the Bamut front, which has long been one of the most critical fronts in the war, the Russian army launched an offensive to retake positions lost north and west of the settlement of Klichivka in Donetsk Oblast. However, the Ukrainian defense forces successfully stopped the Russian army's attack. Finally, on the Kherson front, more than 10 settlements came under Russian artillery fire, including Sadove, Tokorivka, Kozatske, Antonivka, Mikhailivka, and the city of Kherson. What do you think about the latest developments on the front line? Do you consider the offensive and defense operations the Ukrainian army successful? Please express your opinions in the comment section. To reach all the actual news fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.